I don't know if it counts as something that I did, but I just finished watching, like, right before the start of the podcast, NVIDIA's god-awful fucking Gamescom show where they're announcing their new video cards. And they did something that is probably the most disingenuous thing I've seen forever. Really, before you go, I just want to say it's like, I'm never going to be at a spot in my life where I'm like, they're announcing the new cards. They're- Dude, you see it? <laughs> like, if you look, if you're, yeah. if people are into that, like, more power to you. Yeah. But it's like, I... Well, it makes the video games look better. It Matt. sure does, but it's not a video game. <laughs> no, but that's just- like... It could be anything. It's like, yeah. hey, this can expansion pack makes it better. Expansion pack. You know, it's in. It's it's like Nintendo's announcing the new expansion pack. No, the game is always a more exciting thing than the hardware announcement. But well, um, unless you're a crazy person and love your hardware and making the. But hardware I love my hardware because it's, of the game. It's well, still, yeah, but like I like there are games right now that I can't run at the settings I want, so I want a new card. So I don't know what the new card's going to cost and what it can do. Even with consoles, though, if they show us a console, it's like, I don't care. Yeah, you never were a gearhead for it. But, but, like, even if it has good specs, and I know it, I, at least I know, like, a little, like, yeah, those are good specs. But I'm like, if yeah. they just have a rotating Xbox, whatever, or a PS5, I'm like, I don't give a shit. Well, where the I mean, fuck are I the mean games? A, a, like, again, as someone who's, like, built my shit, you know, like, mm. I definitely understand, like, the excitement. Uh, I, but oh, I just, it's not excitement. It's, so what I want it? a new card, I want to know how much they cost and yeah. what they do. But I, I guess I just mean if there's something you're running that you can't run at the settings you want, mm-hmm. um, I assume you would just get the thing that would make it run at the settings you want. That's correct. So yeah. eventually the... But you need to know when that's coming out, what yeah. it costs, very and what rarely, it do. Very rarely these days. I mean, I guess there was a time when it would be more often, but very rarely these days I feel... Are they making settings that are now outside of the realm of what you can handle it's actually until really... this is released, right? Would it, no. like, you know, remember when they used to have well, game, games where it's like this super setting is... Oh, totally. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about kicking up the resolution and the frame rate mm-hmm. and keeping all of the settings at their highest. It's, it's really similar to a guy getting really hype when they announce a new car. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, like, yeah. he's like, I want to go mm-hmm. at this speed mm-hmm. and be able to turn this way... And having the acceleration be like this, I can yeah. I can crank a little bit, and my engine is currently yeah, yeah. a beast, but I can get a little bit more out of that, right? For the space, for the weight, I can do. a if bit If I more. inject the blood of legendary creatures into the car, also, I can surely w- go Wooly, faster. I should mention that there are actual experiences of games that come out that run like shit out the gate because mm-hmm. they require too much juice. Mm-hmm. One of those right now is Monster Hunter on PC. Mm-hmm. It requires. Too much. I have Jurassic about Park as, Trespass. Yeah. I, I have about as high end of a PC as you can get from before this shit, and I am kind of sad at the way Monster Hunter runs on my rig mm. because it because it's buggy and it needs to be patched. Um, but the in the the final thing I want to say the reason why that thing was bad they spend nearly three hours talking about those features that you turn off when you go into options like as soon as you go the in. instant you go in. Hey, you know, hey, you want to play Witcher? Oh, man. Oh, the game defaulted to making uh, Geralt's hair really flowy. Turn that off. Turn that off. Um, Right? And this is like, look, there's this new technology we invented for shadows. We're going to spend two hours talking about it, even though it's going to be the first thing you turn off in every game you play. So this is what Because it costs 10 FPS. This is what made this show so shitty? No, what made this show so shitty is you get to the end and they show you the performance chart and the performance chart is just a big lie. It is a big statistical lie because they're like, we need to figure out a new way of measuring performance. So they invent a new term on stage for performance. Then they measure how much faster the new cards are compared to the old ones in terms of the new performance. This thing is 10 times, 20 times stronger than the old card in terms of RTX ray flops. This is the new term? I forget the fucking thing. It's, Damn it's it. total nonsense. And it's like, I oh, want it. Performa. <laughs> <laughs> right? And it's like... Max out the Performa when, <laughs> of your car. When doing this type of operation, it's 100 times faster. And you're like, but it's not. How much faster is it? No, re- no, really, though. Mm-hmm. 
Is it and, Nvidia? Yeah, Nvidia. It, is it, it? Are they being controlled by a mirage? No, they have no. <laughs> Clearly, Garnif has yeah, got his true. new hands in the GeForce fucking shit. My problem is, I want that GeForce experience to just go back to the simple thing it used to be. Mm-hmm. The more we and further we go into this world of like, you want to get to shadow play, you have to go through our social media experience that is GeForce. Well, the the there is it's fucking there is infuriating. One genuinely, really useful thing about GeForce experience. And that's, you know, that part where you hit optimize your game for yeah, whatever. Yeah, and it done, auto does that's it. That's really useful when you accidentally fuck up your settings mm. so bad you can't get to the options menu anymore. Okay. Like you set your resolution either so high or so low or okay. some bullshit that when you turn the game on, you can't find the option. You know when the game just explodes out past the edge of your screen? And you can't and reset you can't, your save? Like, oh, yeah, but save, it's, not, it's easier to just go into that and click a button and, and set it thing. back to like 1080. Okay, that's useful. But I still hate the fucking... Like, okay, sign in with your Facebook and Google to just get to your settings. No, don't sign in with your Facebook. First face- of all. Don't do that. Literally the Sign fir- in with but, both. But it's like no button worked until you signed in and no, so make, make a throwaway in video. I, I know, I know. But I'm like, step one of me trying to use my video card settings should not be sign in. Right? That's already a, a horseshit thing that they're fucking throwing in. Right. And then and then the fact that like Shadow Play was uh then it's unavailable actually mm. because um you get the install the installer off of their website, and the thing that you install off of their website is just the basic shit. Yeah. It's that it's only when you go and you do the the fucking um, yeah. the full internal update that you get that you get Shadow Play back and whatnot. That's and I'm like, why don't you just make the EXE that I download from your website the final the most up to date version and call it a day? Like it's just getting more and more up its own ass mm-hmm. with these settings and shit. And it's like, what happened to fucking right click? Go to Shadow Play and just set your settings. Wow, you sound you like wanted. an old man. It's really they're <laughs> they're tacking on so much unnecessary bullshit. It's really stupid. I find for like video card settings, I don't need all that. No, you don't for GeForce Experience. No, and in fact, no. like improved user control is often completely outside of that program through like display settings and that shit. Right, that that whole thing that you just like. That is for people that don't know what we're talking about right now. Like me. That, that, that is for, yeah. You know what? Honestly, that's for Matt. Matt gets a new video card and goes, I want, to, I want Fortnite to look good. Boop. Well, I mean, and, sure. I mean, it's use just, another game, but yeah, whatever. No, Fortnite. Dude, yeah, Fortnite. <laughs> but, it's, but it's not even from a, like, I don't know what's going on anymore as yeah. much as a, like, I know what you're doing and I hate it. And yeah. what you had before was a simple menu that was settings mm-hmm. that I needed. Well, that menu continues to exist. And it's the only reason you deal anyway. with the, Wooly, the only reason you have to deal with GeForce experience is because you use Shadow Play, which immediately puts you outside of the realm of most consumers. I mean, mm. no, I was actually having uh, a, I was troubleshooting an issue just this weekend because um, just now this yeah because <laughs> the the fucking for some reason the NVIDIA audio drivers on my computer are causing it to sound like a demon is talking every That's now awesome. and then. That's awesome. Really? Yeah. Is, isn't isn't that good? That's a bug I want to reproduce. So every once in a while while listening to audio on anything, it shuns. Don't invite your mom over. Down. That sounds like it's your real She'd And throw it gets out, fucking honestly. weird That's and cool. gassy. That's cool. And uh, yeah, and I'm like... You've been blessed. And I'm fucking around in my device manager and then like anytime I'm doing something in there, it's fine and I'm, you know... The updating, um, I'm trying different drivers out and whatnot, and then I'm fucking jumping over to the GeForce Experience to fuck around there. And anytime I have to do anything in that thing, it's just a piece of shit now. And I remember when I first yeah. had to do it like three video cards ago, and it was it wasn't even remotely that close to an annoying like, thing. Like we've already established, I'm far stupider and far like my needs are much more basic. I wouldn't say that you're dumber, Matt. I'd say you're in, uninterested. No, no, no. Let me finish. Then okay, you'll agree okay. with me. Uh, <laughs> my needs are a lot more base, basic. Well, tell me when NVIDIA announces that their cards will be shipping in big dumb boxes with stupid heroes yeah. on the front with laser yeah, yeah, guns. Yeah, 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 and, yeah. Like, and every... Get like, all those permeate. characters in. I want all of those I ha- guys. I still they have some of those discs. That, didn't they? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but well, I still, they, I still like, have, went out with voodoo and shit. Yeah, but I still have some of those discs it, with the characters on if them. If Nvidia shipped this shit in that box, I'd get a new card every week. Here's the uh, but here's special the, edition. Collect yeah. them all. 
new fucking vial blader yeah, yeah, on, yeah. on the cover of your video card. I can't believe you the got voodoo. so excited for that video card, but if video cards were amiibos. <laughs> they, if, yeah. If they had little amiibos of fucking razor whip and, and boob titties. Well, like, I'll tell you, it, it it definitely isn't on the box anymore, and no. there's no CDs because who no, no. the fuck is doing that? But it lives on in the installer. Because when you click on the installer, yeah, it'll pop up, and the image, yeah. the is, image will still pop up, and you get one of those render fucking like, characters. Even in Elgato, there. when you saw yeah. Elgato, there's always this guy that looks like Garrett from like Thief. Yeah, 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 yeah. They were still in there. They exist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. I'll the tell you what, though, exce uh, accelerator card heroes, dude. Even though like um, all that shit is is above your fucking like caring and and, and understanding. I've gotten to the place too where having done and like built my shit. I was gonna say design these characters. I don't no no I'm like I don't <laughs> want to do it anymore. Yeah. So I'm I have gotten to a place of like, yeah, all that pride means nothing. I'm just gonna buy a complete thing. Mm. You know? Like especially when you can just click, 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 click and ship it. Oh, I have to say it's the same thing they announced a sixty eight thousand dollar console. Yeah, which, sure. Uh, now, when is, it, when is console? Three, three, what does that a, mean? It's a PC that's 3,000 easy payments of 1995. You know, easy know, There's some fun and pride to be taken from being in the garage working on the old fucking car and it's on blocks like, and you're putting the like things when, together. When they, you, got, you got grease you on it for some reason. Room, 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 like oh, yesterday, running, you know, in preparation but, for getting a new card, I went in, it. cleaned the whole thing out, and then moved some of my hard drive cages around and felt like... Yeah, I moved. I removed that extra hard drive cage I didn't need. All yeah. it really amounts to nowadays is when something breaks, instead of just grabbing it and taking it down to the shop, yeah. I know I can open it up and do a little troubleshooting first before that. Before but, you give and up. The answer before is, I give up. I need the guts of another Dreamcast to fix this. Always. Gotta, gotta mix with that potential meter, man. It's the only thing that'll keep the CD safe. How many Dreamcasts does it need to fix this computer? Seven. No That's more, where no I less. capped out. That's good. I had six. I said I thought I was done. And then I had a working sixth, and then someone came into my old work and was like, yo, I'm selling a Dreamcast. I'm like, fuck you, I'm taking it. I just bought I it anyway. I need a new coffee table. You know, it just became habit after a point. Yeah. Who gives a shit? Uh, let me think. Uh, this console doesn't do anything. What does it do? Played Warframe, but there's nothing new with Warframe. Does, does it, it just... run Crisis? No, <laughs> so, it can't. You want to hear something about the real, can it run Crisis? You know why that's such a question for so long, and, and it's about Crisis, not Crisis, any of its sequels? <laughs> crisis 3. It's yeah. because Crisis is so badly optimized that nothing can ever run Crisis well. Right, it's right, Crisis' yeah. fault. It's Crisis' fault. Yeah. It's Crisis on Crisis. Which is actually happening with Monster Hunter right now. The Monster Hunter PC port, you like people dive into it, and they, they look like, huh. Because mm -hmm. the story is, is that basically the, the devs for Monster Hunter were really honest. They were like, listen, we don't know how to make PC games. And the people who would do this at Capcom are doing DMC and Other RE2 because mm -hmm. those are more important, I guess. Yep. And uh, we'll learn how to do it. And then it comes out that it's like, oh, Monster Hunter divides the CPU into 32 different tasks. Oh, when you do your fucking end task and you look at the list, is it just No, it just it, it creates 32 different threads, even though no one really has a processor over eight cores. And then that, then your processor just chokes on it. Yep. And and various other little things of like, why would anyone do this? Oh, because they don't understand non-static architecture. These are people that have been working on 3DSs for like a decade. And then they took one step out of that world into they're, the world of fucking. And they're like, well, we don't current know. Gen. We don't know how many cores they're pro how we do just split everything into its own task, right? Oh, it's it's weird. That's apparently getting a bug uh, fix either today or tomorrow. I've I've dealt, I've now dived deep into when is this game getting a patch? Let me check the Steam database to see if the QA patch went through in the goddamn like database update. It did. It did. It'll be out this week probably. Thank God, DMC Four Special Edition was the Training Wheels PC version. That they fucking got to like brush up their current oh, current gen skills on, yeah. But compared to like the last ones and whatnot, because um, was that, that port fine? Oh yes, yeah, absolutely, fantastic. Oh, um, and and that is not a good, as good as the original version, however. Oh. But it's a good sign that five on PC early is not going to be too much of a problem. Fingers crossed, you know. 
Hopefully. If it's the same fucking people, right? Here's open. That being said, it feels more at home playing on a PlayStation console. <laughs> I just use the PlayStation controller and change the yeah, in-game exactly. icons, then you fool yourself. But it feels like it belongs on the PS4. I mean, back in the day... <laughs> the P- no, it sounds like it back- belongs on the PS1. Hey, yeah. back in the day, PC game boxes were obnoxiously huge, yes. and the art would therefore be obnoxiously God, huge. I and that's my- why my favorite version of Metal Gear Solid is the PC one, my, because uh, I got that giant box It's also box why for I it. marked out at some uh, convention where someone gave us, remember, the PC version of Street Fighter 2? Yes. A huge black huge box. box. It was a huge art of Blanca it's it's like the equivalent Tony. of a, a vinyl, Fucking right? Awesome. Yeah, yeah. Where you yeah, just yeah. get a nice piece just of art. Cut with that it. shit like out. My favorite era of, the, <laughs> of the PC buying experience was, uh, God, what year was this? Two thousand and was nineteen ninety nine. It was. I remember my favorite box shape. The and the one that I bought was the Warcraft three expansion because it was the size of a large book, but it wasn't the giant. Oh yeah, giant yeah, yeah. magazine I, I know the size. size box. I, know, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. And it wasn't a fucking jewel case. Mm-hmm. The Blizzard size. Yeah, yeah. the bl- uh, was that just Buzzer? I'm, it's the one uh, I recognize. I identify right? with them because all their a, games were about that size. six and a half, to, yeah. six to eight inches tall, and mm-hmm. it had the book in it. And then you would open up the front, and it would be like hard, good cardboard stock, and well, it, would, it would be glossy on the inside. Motherfucker, yeah, you yeah. want to talk about formats? The fucking box for Mech Warrior Two back in the day. Mech Warrior with the oh, fucking I've ever seen it. the Mad the Cat on the cover, and then you had the bumps because it was like not only good cardstock, but it had the imprint of the Mad Cat Mech with the oh. fire in the background. Oh. It was, and you opened that shit up, and it was smooth. It's all digital now. You kids and don't had, know. And it had this shiny <laughs> font on it. And then when they came out with Ghost Bears Legacy, they continued the same sort of trend as well. It sucks because the closest you can get is if there's a big release. It's like get this red ugly Spider Man PS4. No. Also, I don't I already that. have a PS4. It's, yeah, I, if, I, if I want Spider-Man, that's for people that obviously don't have a PS4, but like... I just go, Spider-Man! If I play it digitally, I make my, paint my CD red, I don't know, like Maximum Carnage. Maximum Carnage something. is red. I still remember the Max Carnage case to this day because it had that big, ugly red cartridge. Um, I mean, it was ugly like Doom the, that was a red cartridge. So the, that's the, ugly. The Mech Warrior 2 box had, I remember this art. Yeah, so like the fucking, the Mad Cat on the cover was like embossed, right? Yeah. You could feel it and then like, uh, it's straight, and it, and it had like the gloss on it and stuff like that. And then it was straight up like, was like a booklet that you would open out. <laughs> and see the inside cover as well. It and this was is, fucking this is sweet. what, like 92? Oh, God. Let's like, say it's 92. Ancient, ancient. I like how the fucking fire explosion in the background looks like the dumb cheese explosions from Mighty Number no. 9. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Mech, Mech Warrior That's 2's amazing. box is classic. And then they did the same thing for, yeah, the expansion pack and then uh, Mercenaries as well. They just continued That's the trend. That's cool because it's all Quality consistent. boxes, y'all. That's what PC games were back in the day. And it was huge. It was obnoxiously huge. You were paying huge. a premium price on premium hardware, but you felt like you got a premium thing when you picked it up off the fucking shelf. Yeah, just don't worry about what happens when you open the box and pull a little sleeve out, you know? And super don't worry about when you get it home, and despite the fact you meet the recommended specs, you don't have some obscure Microsoft driver that never got released over the internet just so the game doesn't work. Mm. So it just um, doesn't work. I remember when uh, Sons of Liberty came out as well. There was two versions they sold. It was the CD version and the DVD version. And, like, if you picked up the CD version, you got, I think, like, eight CDs of installing really? to do. Because you know how, like, well, or, like, Alone in the Dark on floppy disk. It's, like, disc one of 27. I remember. Back man, in the day, it's, like, just f- I remember fuck talking to a friend of mine who laughed at me because I got the CD version of World of Warcraft, so it took all day to install. Yeah, yeah. And they had the DVD version of World of Warcraft, and they were, they were in there. I don't know how late the floppy game went, but they were putting out boxes with again above twenty five to thirty floppies to fucking install one after the other. That's awesome. Yeah, to get your that's awesome to get your uh, not even alone in the dark, but like um. Your fucking Phantasmagoria on. Yeah, oh, you yeah. Know? No, an FMV game, it would be like... A, no, an FMV game couldn't even go on a fucking floppy disk. Or am I, or maybe it was... um maybe a bunch of CDs, though. Uh, uh, Gabriel Knight. Some, maybe, it was something along those lines. Gabriel something Knight, along those lines where I'm thinking of just like obnoxious amount of discs. And it's just, yeah, that's all day. You're not doing anything else this afternoon. Fuck you. You're sitting and installing discs. And if you walk away, you're going to come back to waiting for the next disc. So it's going to take longer. I think they're going to bring back Gabriel Knight, but then it's Kickstarter or whatever. Like, fucking failed, I think. Let me check. No. Gabriel oh, well. Knight's cool. 